All right, so it's time to look at the EC2 cheat sheet here. So let's jump into it. So Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 is a cloud computing service. So you configure your EC2 by choosing your OS, storage, memory, and network throughput, and other options as well. Uh, then you launch an SSH into your server within minutes. EC2 comes in a variety of instance types specialized for different roles. So we have general purpose, that's for balance of com uh, compute, memory, and network resources. You have compute optimized, as the name implies. You're going to get more computing power here. So ideal for compute bound applications that benefit from high performance processors. Then you have memory optimized. So that's fast performance for workloads that process large data sets in memory. Then you have accelerated optimized. That's hardware accelerators or coprocessors. Then you have storage optimized. That's high sequential read and write access to uh, very large data sets on local storage. Then you have um, the concept of instance sizes. And so instance sizes generally double in price and key attributes. So if you're ever wondering when it's time to upgrade, um, just think when you need double of what you need, that's time to upgrade. Then you have placement groups and they let you choose the logical placement of your instances to optimize communication performance, durability, and placement groups are free. It's not so important to remember the types because uh, I don't think it'll come up in the Solution Architect Associate. Um, and then we have user data. So a script that will be automatically uh, run when launching an EC2 instance. For metadata, uh, metadata is about the current instance. So you could access this metadata via a local endpoint when SSH in into an EC2 instance. So you have this curl command here with metadata. And metadata uh, could be the instance type, current IP address, et cetera, et cetera. And then the last thing is instance profiles. This is a container for an IAM role that you can use to pass role information to an EC2 instance when the instance starts. All right, so there you go. That's the EC2 cheat sheet.